The main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't. Scooter Libby is a, he's a good man. He's a friend of mine. He's uh, uh, somebody, one of the most competent and capable people I've ever known. Um, he's entitled to the presumption of innocence. Uh, but there is a uh, legal matter pending. There is going to be a trial next year. Uh, I could well be a witness in the trial. And... Uh, Could you declassify Valley Plains' status as an operative? I've said all I'm going to say on the subject, Tim. I really do believe we will be greeted as liberators. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was the Czech intelligence service reported after 9-11 that Atta had been in Prague on April 9th of 2001 where he allegedly met with... Uh, an Iraqi intelligence official. Uh, we have never been able to confirm that, nor have we been able to knock it down. Uh, it's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service in Czechoslovakia last April. Did you tell the president at any time prior to August 6th of the existence of al-Qaeda cells in the United States? If you could just answer that well, question, first, because I only have a very I, limited... I understand, Commissioner, but it's, Did important, you tell it's the important that I also address... It's also important, uh, Commissioner... My Mullen. only question to you is whether you I understand, told the President... I will, if you'll just give me a moment, I will uh, address fully the questions sure. that you've asked. Uh, first of all, I don't remember the al-Qaeda cells as being something that we were told we needed to do something about. Isn't it a fact, Dr. Rice that the August 6 PDB warned against possible attacks in this country. And I ask you whether you recall the title of that PDB. I believe the title was Bin Laden determined to attack inside the United States. In an age of intense media competition where product branding helps establish a group's identity, the most enduring symbol of the feminist movement, still a bunch of gals burning their brassiers in public. And face it, there's nothing appealing about Gloria Steinem and other seasoned feminists burning and not wearing bras. You have said continually that I said to Congress, thanks, but no thanks. If we're going to build that bridge, we'll build it ourselves. Right. But it's now pretty clearly documented. You supported that bridge before you opposed it. You were wearing a T-shirt in the 2006 campaign, showed your support for the, for the bridge to nowhere. You turned against it after Congress had basically pulled the plug on it, and after it became a national embarrassment. Tancredo, good to see you again. Likewise, let me start, good to be here. Let, let me start with you. Judge Sotomayor is a racist? Is let she? me tell you that, well, certainly her words would indicate that that is the truth. How, yeah. how, so how, what how, else can I say? How else can, you know, I can't look at her heart. I, I have nothing that can analyze her soul. All I can tell you, and it, just exactly like the, the things I say are always, you know, used about describing me in one way or the other, all of us in public life have to deal with that. And when you are looking to be on the Supreme Court, don't be surprised that if you say something like that, or if you belong to an organization called La Raza, in this case, which is, from my point of view anyway, just nothing more than a, a Latino, um, it's a counterpart, it, it's a, a Latino mm -hmm. KKK without the hoods and or the nooses. If you belong to something like that, you have to explain that in a way that's going to convince me and a lot of other people that it's got nothing to do with race, even though the, the logo for La Raza is all for the race, nothing for the rest. All right, we're not talking about, we're not, you? you know what, uh, we're well, not she's a member. We're not she's talking a about La Raza, La Raza here, though. We're talking about that specific But she's quote. a member. That's, but the thing that has She's a member of La Raza. Absolute racist Obama. It's, if only people had read Mein Kampf. So, yeah. So in other words, he'd be as dangerous as Hitler. No, he's a dime store Mein Kampf. Oh, he's a two-bit Hitler. But yes, it is absolute racialist.